the Fenrir Basset Hound Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. Let's dive into the interesting history of the Basset Hound. The Basset Hound has long been a hunting and family companion. Their ancestors can be traced back all the way to the 6th century. Basset Hounds have been bred from a long line of breeds to become the Basset Hounds we know and love today. The first dog breed that has been recognised in the Basset Hound's history is the Laconian or Spartan Hound. The Laconian Hound was bred to be a scent hound used for hunting. They were said to be black with tan markings or tan with white markings, short-legged, slow dogs that had small heads and upright ears. They wouldn't rest until they caught the animal or person whose scent they'd been tracking. St. Hubert Hounds were descendants of the Laconian Hounds and they were bred at the Benedictine Abbey of St. Hubert in approximately 1000 AD. The word Basset is a French word meaning low which certainly described the Basset Hound's small legs which caused them to stand low to the ground much like a dachshund. The Basset Hound was first bred by French aristocrats for their incredible ability for their scent work. They were used in many hunting outings to track rabbits and hares by scaring these small animals out of the bushes. When the small animal tried to escape, the Basset Hound would quickly grab them and keep them until the hunters arrived. The first documentation of a Basset Hound was found in 1585 in a French book written by Jacques Dufilo. The book titled La Venerie was all about hunting. The early Basset Hound's appearance from this book looks very similar to today's Artesian Norman de Basset. In 1874, Sir Everett Mallet, later known as England's father of the breed, imported a Basset Hound from France. He called his canine companion Model. Sir Everett Mallet loved the breed so much, he decided to start his own breeding programme and promote the breed across the UK. His breeding programme was started in his own kennels and he even worked alongside other breeding programmes, established by George Creel and Lord Onslow. Sir Everett Mallet first showcased the breed in 1875 at the English Dog Show, but the breed wasn't fully recognised until 1880 when he entered a Basset Hound into a Wolverhampton Dog Show. After this, they quickly began to rise in popularity. In 1884, the Basset Hound Club was formed, and in 1886, Sir Everett Mallet was asked to judge the 120 entries of Basset Hound at the Royal Aquarium Westminster Dog Show. Hey guys, sorry to quickly interrupt the video. I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first book has come out, is now officially published and ready for you to check out if you are interested. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret to Success. I think you'll find it really valuable, and if you'd like to check it out, there will be a link in the description box below. The Basset Hound breed came under a threat during World War I when the amount of Basset Hounds quickly declined. Between 1914 and 1918, only nine Basset Hounds were registered in the Kennel Club records. Disaster struck again after the war, when a canine virus called distemper hit. This led to the Basset Hound Club being disbanded in 1921. However, in 1954 it was reformed by Lionel Woolner, who became the club's chairman. The American Kennel Club registered its first Basset Hound called Bouncer in 1885, but it wasn't until 1916 that the American Kennel Club fully recognised the Basset Hound breed. In 1928, Time Magazine printed a Basset Hound on their cover and wrote a story from the perspective of a Basset Hound puppy. Elvis boosted the breed's popularity by singing to a Basset Hound called Sherlock. Elvis sang Hound Dog to the Sherlock on the Steve Allen Show in 1957. Basset Hounds also became iconic in pop culture in the 60s. They appeared in Hush Puppy Shoe adverts and Fred Basset comic books, which led them to becoming popular amongst families. In fact, the Basset Hound has been ranked by the American Kennel Club as the 28th out of 155 breeds. This shows just how popular the breed is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Basset Hound videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Basset Hound Show.